Hello everyone, welcome to a very quick video, but one that I think is definitely worth sharing. I'm currently at London City Airport in the Oculus Rift S with pretty much all my settings on either high or ultra. If you don't believe me, <laughs> which is fair enough, here they are. Look at this, high. I mean, I could put that at uh, high or even ultra, really, it doesn't really matter. Um, but as you can see here, high, a couple of the ones on ultra, but really, in fact, you know what, sod it. Let's just put everything on ultra just to show you here. Let's put most of these things on ultra, all the big stuff. Okay, just so you, you know, I can really show here what I'm on about. Apply settings whilst in VR, and I'm getting smooth performance. Just give it a minute, it's a bit juddery, but in a second now, and we're back to smooth performance again. Oh my god. And I'm going to take off. How the hell am I doing this? Well, it's actually nothing to do with me being clever or anything like that. It's actually my subscribers. My dear subscribers who have told me about something pretty damn incredible. You can now, with the brand new Oculus Tray Tool, lock your motion projection right down to not only 27 frames per second, but 18 frames per second. We're getting 18 frames per second right now. And everything is really smooth. I'm actually shocked, quite honestly. And the only way I can show you this is by showing my settings. We're, on, we're now on ultra, guys. And I'm using the uh, mirror, okay? So probably not gonna get amazing performance. I might do this video again later on, just showing the two eyes in VR. So all you need to do, oh, look at that storm over there. We're going over there, definitely. Is download the latest Oculus Tray tool. I'll link that in the description below. And as you can see here from the screen, look at your ASW, your sort of uh, motion projection and lock that down to either 30 or it says here uh, 18 but 30 in the rift s will actually be 27 frames per second now of course it's not all good news you're going to get some artifacting okay um that might bother you if that bothers you fine disable motion projection i can look outside and see really smooth scenery that is a massive deal Let's have a look outside. It's a dismal lot out here, I tell you that. This is incredible. I mean, I'm losing the beautiful quality of the Revib G2. And I think what I might decide to do is use that headset, use the G2 for longer flights where I don't necessarily need that smooth motion projection on the ground. But for pretty much everything else, including all my general aviation aircraft flights and VFR tours when I'm looking at the ground, the Rift S wins. It's exactly what I said on my very first Microsoft Flight Simulator video. If we had a tool to lock the motion projection down, then I would, you know, I think I would favor the Rift S. And it's here, and it's been here for a while. I just didn't realize it, guys. So thank you to everybody in the comments on my last video who was telling me, look, you can do this. You can lock your asynchronous time warp. This is a pure joy to fly. Plenty more of this to come, guys, honestly, including a brand new aircraft from Just Flight, the F-15 Eagle. I'm gonna show this on the channel as an exclusive in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go storm hunting now and I'll see you all very soon. Give it a try guys. Honestly, it's amazing. And you know what? I've always said it. The weather system in this sim is revolutionary. There's a reason why a Sobo does not want to let any third party developers get a hold of the insides, the SDK of this weather engine, because we've never seen this before. And I'm not so sure whether the likes of X-Plane can compete with this. 
This is a seriously incredible achievement. Whether this is a game or a sim, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, what you're looking at here is a revolution in flight sim design. Anyway, I really am going now, <laughs> so I'll see you soon. Take care.